Good morning. We have got a beautiful day outside today. Sunshine, 70 degrees. It's going to be a good one. So we've got a trailer loaded up here. It is uh, time to get moving, get this one delivered. Should be a fun one this morning. Do you guys remember, if you were watching last summer, you will remember a seed customer of mine. Um, when we went to go pick up the boxes, uh, his farm had very recently been devastated by a tornado, totally flattened the place. In fact, that's where we're going this morning. So maybe we'll get to see how the rebuild's going. Just double checking everything, we'll walk around and uh, we are good to go. So um, when we get back today, uh, uh, the guy that I'm warehousing for, the sales guy, is uh, coming down. We're going to go over some stuff and look at things. Hopefully, we'll get a couple more deliveries done this afternoon. I know I can take some to some of my guys, um, but we'll see what we can get lined up on the way. And... Uh, what else is going on around today? Brock is going to be at the farm. Dad's got a project for him to work on, so um, we'll kind of let him work with that, and maybe he can film something with the GoPro. I don't know, but I'll show you what's going on there uh, later. Just about to where we're going. Looks like the neighbors got a new barn since the tornado last year. Place over here. We'll see if he'll. They've got a barn there. We'll see what I can film or what they'll. Well, they'll let me look around. But, uh, yeah, go back and find that video. There was a tornado that came, boom, right through here last year. Just, you could see the path right through the field where it went and totally destroyed this farm. Well, there's not a lot to see here. Um, but this is the place I'll throw a picture in from last year, the tornado. You can still see all of the debris over there in the trees. Um, they've got a new shop built. And it looks like that one barn right there is the only one that survived. They're gonna put up another shed over here. It sounds like got a lot of concrete. This used to be a cattle uh, feed yard here. So um, when I was here before, they had thought they were gonna save the house. Um, that was not able to be done. So they will be building a new house this summer, it sounds like, and uh, that's a bummer that they lost that. There was a trail of, of beans missing leaves right out through that field the house sat over there uh, had gotten knocked off the foundation a little bit what a bummer but these guys are doing good said it was 10 months ago today that the tornado came through here so anyway we are heading back uh we've got uh got our meeting this late this morning and then we've got a couple other deliveries set up for this afternoon we've got to get stuff sorted out and loaded up okay we made it back we need to go down to the farm and check some stuff out down there. We got a big project happening this week. I'm pretty excited about. But first, we have gotten two trucks since uh, I left this morning. Brock unloaded for me, and I need to see what all was on them because I've got some bags of beans that I'm waiting for for some of my customers that, um, yeah, well, they need to be here. Looks like we've got seven boxes. And a pallet of some beans. 29.22s. Not what I'm waiting for. Dang it. Okay. Well, we'll come back here in a minute. Um, we've got uh, uh, that rep coming down here in about 20 minutes. So, But I wanted to go down to the farm because about, about a year ago, honestly, the farm was... Um, we'll say sitting in a decent position and uh, we were thinking about different projects and things that we would like to do around the farm and one of the things that we really have been wanting to do for a while is to finish the concrete in our back shed um, so our our big gray shed in the back here is only half concreted uh, or at least of the original part and so we contacted somebody, had him come out and give us some quotes on that and a few other places to pour some concrete last year. Uh, decided to move ahead with the project. Told them that. And then they, they, never, they never showed up. 
Well, um, last week they came to get a bag of sawdust, one of those bags of sawdust that I was telling you about that Dad makes. They said they asked if they could have one of them, and then they're like, hey, you still want that concrete done? We'll be there next week. Oh, okay, yeah, let's do it. So we're getting ready for that. We're prepping for it. Yeah, this. So we've had that concreted for a long time, but we wanted to finish this. Um, we're trying to scoop out some of the dirt from in here. Looks like we're plenty deep, I would say. Brock's learning how to drug backhoe today, I guess. There's plastic under it, so it's actually it cleans up pretty well, I think. But we don't have to do a lot. We just have to, well, whatever we do do, the concrete crew doesn't have to do, and they're coming tomorrow to prep. So we thought we'd try and salvage some of this crushed rock here. Okay, well, we're heading back. Brock is, uh, he's doing his best with the backhoe there to scoop that stuff out. Now, the concrete guys will come in and prep this and get it nice, but he can get some of the dirt out of there. Make it a pile. It's nice crushed stone uh, that we can use somewhere for something. So he's going to work on that for a little while, and then I uh, told him to go ahead and get the field cultivator out. It's about time to go and uh, we got to get our big field cultivator hooked up and gone through, checked out. So he's going to kind of this afternoon. All right. Good news. Good news. Um, the guy that's got the 47 boxes, they're going on Friday and he said he could take them all. So I don't know if we can get them all there on Friday, but um, we're going to have a little bit of help and we're going to make at least four trips, four loads. And um, get a lot of beans taken up there so I am happy about that we're gonna have it's possible we get a hundred boxes of beans out of the warehouse this week that would be crazy so anyway we're gonna load up three of them and a pallet of corn and a few bags of beans and take it to one of my customers that is right down the road uh, right now and then we got to come back and load up for another load this afternoon just three boxes on this load, plus the pallet, so not a real big one. Could have done it with the small truck, but it's close. It's not a lot of miles. This one's already was there. It's easier to strap them down. Just taking this truck. And then we're going to come back and pick up this afternoon. We've got two boxes and two or three pallets, but I could take another four boxes and drop them off at our Berkey farm on the way. I'm debating whether I want to do that or not. Okay, we are loaded up again. You can see my new shirt. It's nice. Anyway, um, we have four stops to make on this trailer load. So the first place is uh, getting two boxes. Um, they are uh, right across the section from our Berkey farm. We took a full load there last week. These are the last two boxes for them. So we'll get those off and then we have to stop at our farm, take two more off. That's for another customer that brings his wagon there and we put them in uh, his wagon for him. Uh, and then we go north from there to uh, a couple of other guys. So I'm going to go and get this done. I also am going to see about taking the trailer in for the uh, tire recall that needs to get done because we're going to be right close to the dealer where I bought it by the time uh, we get the last of the seat off. So let's see how it goes today. Apparently it's seed delivery day for more than just me. That's a competitive seat brand trailer right there. He's driving a little slow. Like, come on, one. I'm in a hurry. Let's go. We dropped off our first two boxes, and now we're at our uh, Berkey Farm here, kind of our second location. We've got two boxes that come off here, the back two. Why am I undoing that one? I don't know, because I'm not paying attention. I'm filming for YouTube. Anyway, we'll get these off. Hopefully our forklift starts. Because we got to go. Ugh, it's time for me to... Yeah. Well, I got 20 minutes to get to the next place. And we're 15 minutes away. Ah, she started. I'll see if it'll move. It's iffy sometimes. We would love to replace this forklift. Bring our one from uh, Waldron down here. And get a newer, new, newer one for up there that we use more, but just haven't pulled the trigger. Ground's starting to look decent out here. We had almost three inches of rain, 2.7 uh, 
when was that? Thursday and Friday. Today's Monday, so not long ago. It's dried up remarkably since then, but it's quite warm today. Our wheat down here looks fantastic. As we're driving by, I'll show you, but we're not gonna stop because we don't have time. I lied, we were driving right past it. It looks good. I decided I had to come out and look. It's growing, it's got really nice dark green color to it. I'm quite happy with that. I don't really see any weeds, but that's the next thing is to get some herbicide out here. Um, are we jointed? Yep, right there's a joint. It's growing. I'm pretty happy with this. This looks like good wheat. Just one new tire. It was one that was part of the recall that was bad. Whatever. Um, I got it thrown on. I got new shocks for the toolbox that are the right size this time. So we should be able to put those on and fix it. And we're good to go. Keep hauling seed. All right, we gotta get back to the farm. It is, uh, oh geez, it's almost five o'clock already. Um, we got beans to check. It's three weeks today since we planted our beans. Let's go see how they're doing. Look who's waiting for me. Hi, sweetheart. Oh. What are we doing with your shoes here, children's? Hi, one on. <laughs> Shouldn't be wearing those cleats around for anything other than baseball anyway. Soccer? Well, okay, but like at practice, not just out in our yard. Hi. Who are you? Yeah. It's you. Who's that? No, I... Yeah? Are you playing? I know. It's okay. I don't like it. Okay, let's go check some beans. Oh, dusty. Uh, windy. Anyway, let's go see how we're doing. It has been three weeks today since we were out planting these beans on March 25th. I bet we made a lot of progress in the last week. Okay, so we planted these beans on March 25th. We checked them. The first week and they had swelled up. We're maybe just starting to push out a teeny tiny little sprout. We checked them last week on Monday and they were there was a definite sprout coming out of the beans, um, but not a lot of push to them. We're going to check them again today. We had really warm temperatures all of last week, including last Monday. Remember, we stuck a thermometer in the ground and we had 70 degree soil temperatures. Where's my thermometer? I've got one. It's right there. So we'll see what that is. I guarantee they're warm today because it has been a beautiful, warm, sunny day. And I would expect our soil temperatures to be warmer. So we stuck it in the ground at two inches. We'll sink it down to four inches after we dig a few and, and see what it is farther down. But um, let's see what we got. It has dried down a lot since the rain we got uh, Thursday and Friday last week. You can see we're cracking. This crack is right down the middle of a row. That's a good thing because that will give somewhere for those beans to push through. So uh, let's pop some of that dirt out. It's a little crusty. I'm not real worried about crusting yet at this point. That is soft enough that it'll break through. Um, but we're going to get more rain here on Wednesday, soften things up again. And while these beans, I'm sure, are growing, I doubt they're ready to pop through this surface just yet. So... Trying to be careful so I don't break them off. We don't see any. They're in there pretty deep. We planted plenty deep for um, for beans, but it was early and I wanted them in the ground deep. Oh, bending my digger. Oh, there we go. There's one. Oh, did I break it? Nope. Okay. So you can see we've got a much longer root coming out of there now. Starting to push its way towards the surface, but we still got a long ways to go. They're not ready to come up by any means. Let me do a little digging, then I'll show you what we got. Okay. Let's start here. 73 degrees, two inch soil temp. We'll go down to four. Our ground is, is quite hard. I'm not thrilled with how hard it is to dig in here and stuff, but 
is what it is. So we'll see if that goes down a little bit while we look at our beans. I dug four of them here, varying degrees of, of progress, but all of them significant progress since last week. Uh, we've got nice little shoots coming off. This one here had a nice long one. That one, probably the farthest along of any of them, and uh, was making its way towards the surface. We're easily a week away. Now it depends on the weather, I guess, but if we have more days like today, they'll keep moving. Um, but it's going to cool down this weekend, so we'll see. It's probably going to be, be at least another week before they come out of the ground, and frankly, I'm okay with that. Um, but I'm happy. The only thing that concerns me, like I said, is how hard it is to dig through this ground. We did have some fairly hard rain last week. It didn't get all that much, but it was a hard rain. And hard rain packs down our clay. So the beans themselves look healthy. Everything is nice, white, greenish white um, tissue. Nothing's brown. Nothing looks like it's rotten or moldy or bugs chewing on it or anything like that. It's only it's dirty, but not rotten. So uh, for the most part, beans look great. They're in good shape. Really, there was no risk to this point. Like we we pretty well knew the beans were, were going to do this. The uh, question mark and the trick here is once they do come out of the ground, do we get any more frost? Um, that's when things will get real for them. We'll keep an eye on those beans, but they look good. We're in good shape there. Let's see what's going on in here maybe real fast. Lots of digging being done. Let's see what the crew does tomorrow when they show up. We built that barn in 2000. It's been almost 25 years. Poured half the concrete 10 years ago, something like that. It's time to do the rest. And we still got another box of corn to clean when we get time. Maybe Wednesday when it's raining. Dad's got our uh, cone for our cone bottom tank. All painted up, fixed up. We had put new channel on the bottom because the C channel that was on there was starting to rust out. So got that fixed up. What a day. Well, we got a lot done. So um, the guy that came down today that I'm doing the warehouse for. I don't know if I should say his name. Anyway, um, he took three deliveries today, small ones, dropped them off on his way home. So that was awesome. Thank you. Um, which means between those three and the five that I did, we knocked out eight customers' orders today. And that's awesome. Um, we've, got, we've got seven, nine boxes of beans to treat in the morning. So we are going to do those. And then we've got a delivery lined up, and I'm going to try and line up another one for the afternoon. Uh, that's what I know that I've got to do. We'll see from there. Um, we also need to get our base station mounted for our 360 rain, and we might work on that tomorrow a little bit if I've got time. Um, it's, it's getting to be go time. They've got to, we've got to get that done and um, mounted so they can come up and map the field before we plant. And planting might happen next week, so it's time. It's time. I have not heard from our well driller, but it is time. Also, go get yourself one of these really awesome Waterview Farms t-shirts. It's a nice color. Have a great night. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I got everybody put to bed for the night. Decided to come out and treat these beans. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's not good when it shuts down halfway through a run. What's going on? Pump 2 flow rate is low. Yeah. I bet it is, because I don't have anything in pump two. I didn't set it up right. That's not what we're putting on. So we got the right, what we did, we were fine, because pump one was right, um, but we're not putting any exceed or heads up on, and I didn't tell it that it's just apex, so we gotta, gotta switch that. That's what happens. Try and do stuff to get ahead, you make mistakes. No big deal. Hooray. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to run these. Uh, I got nine boxes to do tonight. Nine? Three and two? No, seven. 
seven boxes to do tonight. So we're gonna run those. There's those three, and then I need four boxes of the 2922s that are buried in this first row. So uh, that's uh, stuff for the delivery tomorrow, plus two boxes for another delivery that I'm gonna do later in the week. Well, I ended up doing 11 boxes. I, there was four more. They were the same variety that needed to that I was already doing that we're going to deliver later in the week. So I just went ahead and did them. And we sorted out the corn that we need for tomorrow. We got to take samples, put lids on in the morning, um, and then we can head to where we're, we need to go. But it is now quarter after 11, and I'm going to bed.